tell you, now that the holidays are getting ever closer, let's talk about a gift you may not have thought about, the gift of travel and time with family and loved ones. So here with some great ideas is travel journalist and explorer Kinga Phillips. Good morning, Kinga. I know you have traveled the world, so what can you impart to us to help make travel fun? Well, I think the most important thing, Linda, is always to stay flexible. That is so important just to be able to roll with the punches, but also take care of the details. One of my favorite travel tips, and I always do this, whenever I go anywhere, I take all the documents and the cards out of my purse and I photocopy front and back. So knock on wood, nothing will go wrong. You won't lose it. But if you do, you've got all the numbers right there handy. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's talk about maybe an exotic place you might recommend for people who want to do something different. Definitely. Well, it is cold outside right now. And if you are anything like me, you are dreaming of the sandy and the exotic. And I'll give you a tip. There is one spot that is on my professional and personal radar for 2018. There's a new series I'm writing called Off the Beaten Path, and I am heading to the Dominican Republic mm. this coming year. Gorgeous area, less explored than other parts of the Caribbean, truly offers something for every budget. Dominican Republic really does have it all. For instance, my sister was in Punta Cana this past year, loved the resorts, loved of the beautiful beaches. If you are traveling for romance or with a family, that is your area. Now, if you're more like me and you love rugged adventure, then you want to head to the North Coast. Amazing eco lodges and so many cool activities from windsurfing and scuba diving to whale watching. It really has it all. And Santo Domingo is one of the most colorful and beautiful capitals in the entire Caribbean for foodies and cultural enthusiasts and art aficionados. Truly the great place to go. So be on the lookout for the series that I'm writing and get your feet in the sand as quickly yeah. as possible. I've been there, it's awesome. How about a travel tip for staying healthy? Well, that is so important. I'm so glad you asked. And you know, I'm always planes, trains, and automobiles, and one of my best travel tips are compression socks. And the brand that I love is Insignia by Sigveris. And InsigniaStyle.com is their website. They are great stocking stuffers, and they help to prevent blood clots, which is super important if you're traveling for more than four hours. Oh, it's nice to see that they make them a little bit more less hospital looking as well. So that's a great idea, I love that. How about a unique They're travel great. tip? Yeah, that is sure to entertain once we get there. I've got a good one for you. So again, I'm always in hotels and what I love is the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. It is tiny, fits in the palm of your hand, pairs with most TVs, easy to use, 4K capabilities, and the best part is it's less than $70. So Roku.com is the place to go for that. And it's so great because if you're in a hotel, you sign up for the Roku channel and you have hundreds of movies that you can watch. So awesome. And this month they have Mermaids and Oliver Twist and School of Rock, just all the movies that we love and it's just that little slice of home when you're traveling. That makes so much sense. Um, we're running out of time, Kingo. Do you have a favorite travel adventure you can share with us? Oh my goodness, I'm a big fan of Ethiopia. Mm. I love Ethiopia. I was blown away by the people and the food and the white colors that they all wear. It's just a gorgeous spot. Well, all right, Kinga, this is great information. Where can we go for more? TipsonTV.com is a great spot. All of these brands have their own website. And then my site, kingofphillips.com. I'm always chatting about the cool stuff I find. King of Phillips, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Some real good things to think about. All right, everybody. Here, she's right. It got cold in Buffalo, and boy, did it get snowy. Uh, we 